Hey everyone, welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now in today's video, we're going to be going over the three things that we go over on the channel each and every single day. And those three things include where you guys can find Madame Nazar. We're going to go over all the different collection sets and their current cycles. And then we're going to obviously go over all of the daily challenges. But if you guys are enjoying these videos and want to continue seeing these videos, make sure that you guys go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. Also, make sure that you guys go ahead and share these videos with everyone that you know and everywhere that you possibly can because it really does help the YouTube channel grow. It defeats the YouTube algorithm. And honestly, if it helped you guys out, it will probably help out a lot of other people as well. I just want to say just quickly, thank you for all the support over the last couple of days with the Daily Channel videos. Um, we got, I think it was around 130 likes on the last one that means 1200 over 1200 over 1300 of you guys did leave a like on the last video it literally takes like two seconds so guys go ahead and do that and then leave a comment down below anything it could be a color it could be a number it could be just a hi hey how are you uh pretty much anything that's appropriate otherwise it won't get post posted so anyway let's go ahead and get started let's start with the collection sets on their current cycles we're going to start with the fossils which will be a part of cycle number three we have the Lost Jewelry at cycle number two. We have the Arrowheads, cycle number two. Family Heirlooms, cycle number two. And then Coins at cycle number two as well. Now, the next four sets that I'm about to go over, you don't even need to be a collector at all in order to collect them. But you do need to be a collector in order to sell them. So definitely get that collector bag as soon as you possibly can, especially if you want to make any type of money here in Red Dead Online. Because, honestly, it's the best making me money method, in my honest opinion. And it's going to seriously help you guys out in the long run. But American Wildflowers is going to be three sets every single day. That's going to be a part of cycle number two. We have the tarot cards, also at cycle number two. An antique alcohol bottles at cycle number, nope, not two today, cycle number three. And then last but not least, we got the bird eggs, also at cycle number two. Yeah, basically everything is, for the most part, cycle number two. There's only two things that are part of cycle number three. So it should be relatively easy for you guys today. So just think majority of things, cycle number two, and it should be fine. But anyway, let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. We're going to quickly go over the list mode of the daily challenges, and then we're going to go ahead and break them down in detail. So let's go ahead and do that right now. We got five animals trampled. Five chain pickerel caught, three cooked season game, two gang hideouts cleared. Then we've got five non-player enemies killed while from cover. We've got us jumping off of the uh, the embankment there. We've got one ho photograph your horse, and then three player kills with a shotgun in free roam events. The bounty hunter roll. We got two bounties brought in from Lemoyne posters. Two bounties completed within one real world hour, and then one bounty completed without killing any enemy or a bounty target. The trader roll, we have three camp stews eaten, 20 carcasses donated within a 10 minute period, and we have $200 money made from trading. The collector roll, three American wildflowers found, one antique alcohol bottle drank, and then we've got two collectibles found with a metal detector. The moonshine roll, one completed special moonshine recipe, three moonshine bootlegger missions completed, and then two moonshine story missions completed. The uh, naturalist roll, two blending tonics crafted or used, two legendary animals found using, or samples taken, and then two legendary animals found using pheromones. But anyway, that is all of those, so let's go ahead and break them down so you guys can actually go ahead and earn a list a little bit of extra gold here in Red Dead Online. So let's do that right now for you, while we get to listen to a train get relatively close. Alright, so five animals trampled. You guys can uh, do a couple different things. Obviously, you can trample... Um, fish for this one so there's a couple different spots that you guys can go to uh you can do this actually right here in dakota river area however one of the best places to trample fish in my opinion if you guys got some other suggestion by all means go ahead and leave a comment down below because that's going to help me out and it's going to help other people out as well but down here in the stillwater creek area this is actually pretty shallow uh specifically at this one right here right off the r in stillwater so that's a good spot to go and trample otherwise you can trample like turkey is a really good option uh, you can find them around valentine where i'm currently at blue water marsh area and a few other places as well the next on the list is going to be five chain pickerel caught now chain pickerel you can pretty much catch anywhere that there's water they are pretty much everywhere uh, they do prefer corn bait over anything and then if you have the special uh, lure in general you can use that if you guys don't necessarily want to use the bait i like to use the lures because you don't have to bait them every single time that you catch a fish but you do have a higher chance and higher probability of being able to catch something else besides just what you're trying to catch but more than likely you're gonna catch everything else besides jpeg girl today anyway using just corn bait anyway 
We got three cooked seasoned game meat. Now this is a three-step process. Number one, you have to get the game meat. Number two, you have to get the seasoning. And number three, you have to cook it. So game meat is going to be like rabbits or ducks, things like that. Uh, seasoning is going to be thyme, oregano, or mint. If you're going to have the chain of pickerel around the Dakota River area or pretty much any river area in the general, you're going to find a lot of um, mint anyway. So mint is one of the herbs, so thyme, oregano, mint. Um, and then cooking it, you're going to use your wilderness camp, you're going to use your camp camp, or you can use any of the campfires in the towns or any one that's naturally scattered throughout the world. Any one of those will work. So a couple different things involved with that one. We have two gang hideouts cleared. I go over this every single time. I like to go in a big circle down by uh, Tumbleweed. It's a really, really good opportunity if you guys want to try to get um, gang hideouts, especially if you're in a lower lobby count. So if you can get the smallest lobby as possible, then this will help your chances of getting these gang hideouts a lot more. But you basically fast travel into Armadillo, right up to Twin Rocks. This is a gang hideout. There's a gang hideout right about here. It's called Rattlesnake. I can't remember what the other word is. And then we got Gap Tooth Ridge way over at this area. You're going to ride down to Gap Tooth Breach, the mining facility, Sea of Coronado, right here at this intersection right there. You're going to ride over to Solomon's Foley, right south of Benedict Point, over to Repentance Rock right here, and up to Fort Mercer, down to Jorge's Gap, pretty much right on the U, and then repeat that entire process by going back up to Twin Rocks. And you got a nice big loop. Uh, you can usually get two full loops done in about uh a day cycle like uh like just the night cycle so about a uh, half a day so 12 hours worth in game you can usually get around those two in about that time so now not all of them are nighttime cycle ones some of them are more dominant during the day so just keep that in mind um we have not uh five non-player enemies killed well from cover so this should be really uh, easy i would actually recommend going to van horn or going into thieves landing because as soon as you shoot one person you can get everybody to come after you. Otherwise, if you can participate in like a bootlegger mission, a poacher mission, or some of the bounty hunting missions, you can do that from cover like hide behind a tree or rock or whatever, and that will solve that problem. And then we got two or one animal or one photograph of your horse. So basically just get off your horse, pull out your camera. You're gonna have to walk a little bit of a ways away and then go ahead and take a picture. It does not matter which camera that you use. And then the last one for the daily general challenges, we got three player kills with a shotgun in free room events. So that's gonna be like um, Cold Dead Hands, Roller Baron, and Dispatch Rider. Moving on to the rolled daily challenges. We got the Bounty Hunter roll. Two bounties brought in from Lemoyne posters. So Rhodes, Sand, and E is what you want to do for that one. We have two bounties completed within one real world hour. So the top two can definitely do together. And these are basically being done as fast as you possibly can. And then in that one, one of those two that you're going to be doing, just don't kill any enemy or any bounty target in the process. So basically run in, get your bounty target, and then get out of there as fast as you possibly can. The uh, trader roll, we got three camp stews eaten. I recommend that you guys buy the stew pot anyway, just because it does have a lot of advantages. You're gonna eat three quality or three base quality stews, and that's gonna be available to, to you as soon as you buy the stew pot. 20 carcasses doing within a 10 minute period. I recommend small animal carcasses because it doesn't start the whole process until you donate the first one. And by the time you didn't donate the first one, you're pretty much done donating the rest of them. But this is gonna be like bats, rats, toads, bullfrogs, western show monks, squirrels, crows and any other really small bird and we've had a few small animal carcasses that we've had to find anyway lately so you guys should already have a couple in your inventory to be able to be donated to crypts anyway and then 200 dollars money made from trading as long as you have a full 100 goods to be able to be sold or have a friend that has 100 goods to be able to sold then you can help them or they can help you and you guys can make more than that 200 dollars and then you guys can both kind of help each other out get this one or making money either way would work the collector roll we got three american wildflowers found american wildflowers will be a part of cycle number two one antique alcohol bottle drink. You can drink anything that you guys have. Otherwise, you can do the bootlegger missions or find them in cycle number three for today. And then we have two collectibles found with a metal detector. I like to go after the coins just because you know that every single one is going to be using the metal detector. And then you don't have to worry about it. And then let's go ahead and show you guys where you can find a Madame Nazar for today. Madame Nazar is actually going to be in West Elizabeth in the Big Valley area. And your fast travel destination will actually be in Strawberry. Otherwise, if your camp is actually posted here a little bit closer than that that's obviously going to be your fast travel destination of choice but for are all of your mad Mazar needs this is where she is located for today on the little creek river in big valley all right moving on to the next one we've got the moonshine roll so we got to complete a special moonshine recipe this is going to be creek plum argarita or caribbean rum and then we got three bootlegger missions that we have to complete so if you guys want to do that as far as killing the non-five or the five non-player enemies while in cover that's how you do that. You can go talk to Maggie directly or find these naturally throughout the world. And then two story missions completed. 
either have to do these for Maggie or if you've already completed them, then you can actually do them through the progress menu again. And then last but not least, we got the Naturalist Roll. We got two Blending Tonics Crafter to use. If you guys have the pamphlet, you can craft them. Otherwise, you'll have to buy them and use them. Or if you have enough of them, you can just use them. Uh, two Legendary Animal Samples taken. I like to do the missions directly through Harriet, just because you're going to get your own Legendary Animal. And then if you do this with friends, then everybody can get the sample, which is quite nice. And then if the uh, last one is two Legendary Animals found using Pheromone. So as soon as that little question mark pops up, drop down a Pheromone. Craft these yourself or you can buy them. I don't do this one ever because I think they're ridiculously expensive and they're kind of stupid in my opinion. But that is everything done, gone over, and covered. If you guys do have any questions regarding anything that we went over in today's episode, by all means, leave a comment down below so that I can do my best to help you guys out. But once again, I do appreciate you guys all the support. And make sure that you guys, before you leave, leave a comment and like before you guys go. Let's see if we can get a lot more likes and a lot more comments on today's episode. I would definitely help. I would definitely appreciate it. And honestly, it's going to help a lot of other people out as well. But until next time, you YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it, and you guys stay gaming.